My name is Steve Stevens, the best sports consultant money can buy. I make more money betting sports than anybody in the world. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie. I'm the bookie killer. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make $100,000 a day. The game that I pick, believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, because all I pick is winners. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks. Money talks. Welcome to Las Vegas. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Stevens, a.k.a. The Bookie Killer, sitting here with my co-host, The Big Skipper, want to welcome you to the VIP Sports Podcast. For those of you guys that are just tuning into this podcast, this is a sports betting show. Our job is to teach amateurs and new sports bettors and experienced sports bettors the in and outs of sports betting. Not only uh, what the lingo is, but more importantly, how you make money doing it. So many people out there, Skip, during the holiday season, betting with their heart, betting with the college they went to school on, Mm -hmm. and that's how you take it right up in the ass in the sports betting world. I'm glad you mentioned that because we'll be going over to top 10 schools in college basketball today, uh, how they're doing against the spread, how they're doing with the over-unders. So if you are one of those guys that just loves the bet. I went to Notre Dame, so I'm putting 10,000 on them on the fucking Fighting Irish this weekend. If you are one of those people that love to bet your favorite team and Love to bet just top 10 teams and the teams that are on ESPN every night. We're going to go over the top 10 teams in college basketball, how they're doing against the spread. In other words, if you're putting your money on them, how are you doing? Correct. It, it might be great to watch them. How are you doing if you're putting your money on them? We'll be going over that later in the show. During the holiday season, last thing you want to do is bet with your heart when it comes to this cream. When it comes to your cream, you can't have a favorite team, can you? That's a good one. I like that jingle. We keep hearing things. That was Dirt Bomb 101. I I like that jingle. Welcome back to the show, coming live and direct from our office here at VIP Sports in Las Vegas, Nevada, which, by the way, weather's been absolutely gorgeous. A little overcast. It's a little overcast today. However, uh, wow, yesterday was beautiful. Yeah, it's hot outside. 68 degrees, beautiful sunny day. Where are you getting that the third week of December? <laughs> Nobody. That's why you came here from Philly, my man. Well, the one way. of the many reasons. Well, besides the fucking yeah. millions and millions of dollars in sports betting. That's Fun, sure. sun, and beautiful eye candy, my friend. And you said it from day one. I got to agree. Plenty, and- plenty of business opportunities, and uh, wow, there's some lookers. I'm a married man, happily married for many, many years now, as you know. Yeah. Uh, Nothing wrong with the eye candy, though. <laughs> Coming from our brand new state-of-the-art studio, sponsored by our boys over there at BetQL. Merry Christmas to Beck QL out there. I uh, hope you guys have a beautiful Christmas. It's December 20th, 2018. This is our Christmas edition. If I don't get the chance to tell you guys out there, Merry Christmas from the VIP crew and my family to yours. I hope you have a blessed day. Amen. Uh, like I said, podcast number 197, 200 is approaching very, very quick, Skip. Yes, it is. Christmas edition of the podcast. Every Thursday, our podcast is brought to you by... BetQL, Paperhead.com, BetOnline.ag, and MyBookie.ag. Yep. You want to be a sponsor of this podcast, Skipper? Anybody out there? I know you've talked to a lot of clients. How do I become a sponsor? Mm-hmm. If you're we watching, can only take so many, but however, we're always... always no, we're not op- taking any more sports books unless you're coming with like six figures. However... We're always open-minded to hear uh, what you want to do and see if we can get you in. Right now, we got a couple marijuana and cannabis companies fighting for a, like a top sponsor right. uh, that's going to be maybe replacing one of the big ones that we have right now if the money's right. Like I said, we're not prejudiced to the size, shape, or color of the advertising. We're just all about the fucking money. Hey, bottom line, a lot of people uh, using uh, THC, my friend. Correct. CBC, or what's it called? CBD oil? CBD oil. CBD marijuana oil. is just as big as sports betting. That's uh, why we target to the both of them. That's why we smoke on a daily fucking basis, yeah. and we make people more money betting sports than you possibly could imagine. We're all about about making money betting sports and smoking a kush. Well, I mean, show is there another... Maybe a couple of edibles here along the way, right? Skip, is there another podcast out there that gives more breakdown and actually more no. winners against the spread than no. the VIP Sports Podcast? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, well, me neither. If you do, let me know. Right. Please. Uh, anyway, like I said, if you're watching or listening to the podcast, you own a small business, work at a company, get involved in the interesting, big-time, booming sports betting industry, well, like I said, send us an email to advertising at VIPSportsLasVegas.com. We'll get back with you with all the details and you become a sponsor of the show. Sports betting is becoming the number one 
thing in the country. It's all anybody talks about. Yeah. It's on every news channel. Correct. It's being discussed in every legislator in every state in the country. Six states right uh, now. They're just popping up. Every, I mean, shit, like six a week are popping up. But when Washington, D.C. just became legal. Pennsylvania. Uh, it's just one after another. They're introducing bills in Tennessee. And Correct. I, I can't even keep track of it anymore. It's like we've been saying for the last three years. It's just a matter of time. Three years ago, we said in the next five years, sports betting will be legal in 40, if not every state in the country. And That's here probably we the only... And here we are. Well, I tell you what, it's even longer than that. It's been four years because you could go back to podcast number four mm -hmm. where we're talking about the reason why we're doing this was a spinoff of Money Talks, which brings you into my life of a guy that bets big, lives larger, guy that actually lives in Vegas, makes real bets, and has a company of 40, 50 salesmen that does millions of dollars a year, number one sports consulting. So we did the podcast to help the movement of legalization of sports betting. Absolutely. In the beginning of those podcasts, we talked about that fan duel. Uh, we talked about everything that's actually happening four years later. We, we talked said about, that we, fan duel yeah. would be shut down. Fan duel got shut down. We also said if you and I owned that, we'd be doing 30 years in prison uh, because they basically ran a legal book in the States for three, four years straight. We said if they did their business right, when sports beginning, betting becomes legal in all these states, they should be the biggest sports book. Right. Sure enough, They're poisonous. DraftKings and FanDuel yeah. are opening up sports books everywhere. And sorry, Cantor. Sorry, William Hill. The, the fact of the matter is you get 40 states open sports betting legal FanDuel and uh, DraftKings probably take over in the sports book. Shout team. out to the DFS companies out there. They had the foresight to see what was coming. And we've said and it they too. Got, Go back 100 podcasts ago. They got themselves out there with the daily fantasy uh, stuff, and they got everybody's name and number, and they got everybody's email, Sharp. And, they, and they got everybody signed up for the daily fantasy sports sites. Correct. And uh, they, they took fantasy and turned it into reality. Absolutely. They knew, <laughs> they knew the legalization of sports betting was coming, and they were in prime position to become one of the biggest books in the world once it became legal. And they're right now in the process of making that transition. Well, they've and already cut deals and with... God, and listen, God bless America. Shout out to them, man. I'm not hating on them. Nope. I mean, fuck, I'd love to be a part of that cash flow. And me too, especially you... when you're getting the NFL owners and NBA owners as partners in the fucking oh, corporation. Oh, it's a fucking goal, man. And getting a piece and a percentage, knowing that's worth... Congratulations. Yeah. They did an amazing job. You guys really did, but I said, we, we said this is exactly what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And we said that they would take over. So, However, anyway, we're here to beat them. Correct. <laughs> uh, one thing about us, we're not bookies. We're bookie fucking killers. Yeah. We'll bend them motherfuckers over and put a size 11 right up their fucking ass, period. Absolutely. And that's what this show is all about, is how to break the fucking book. It's a trillion dollar industry. It's you and I against the bookie, not you and I against each other. They got plenty of, plenty of money. They got plenty of paper. And there's uh, the majority of the people betting sports are out there losing on a monthly, the majority, 90%, on, more than the majority. More than 90%. Uh, almost all of them. In the long run, 98% of people that bet on sports lose money in the long run. And we're here to teach you how to remain consistent, teach you money management and discipline, and couple that with the right information. And we're here to show you how to actually be part of the 2%. And if you were sleeping in a cave uh, and you haven't seen Money Talks, 11 episodes, make sure you go to Money Talks. Uh, VIP Sports YouTube. Check out those 11 episodes. Right. Uh, we bring clients into town, bring you into my life of the sports better, show you my sales rooms a little bit more than a guy on Twitter pitching in his underwear at home or some guy, you know, stalking pitching from his cell phone. Or, stalking Instagram. Yeah, spending millions of dollars on Instagram to become a big name like Vegas Day, but don't even have an office. Got the feds on your back and don't actually win. So a lot of fraud out there, guys. Uh, just because you pay on Instagram and pay for fake likes and, and, and viewers doesn't necessarily mean you beat the book. Real fucking simple. Been telling Skip that for fucking years. Anyway, uh, today's show, we got a great show for you guys today. We're going to do the VIP 5. It's the Christmas edition. College basketball, NFL previews, college football bowl games, mm. and we're going to do a little NBA, Big Skip. Time to go bowling. They want to get a hold of us. A lot of fraud going on right now, not only on the internet with fake TVs being bought, but VIPs being frauded too. People using our name, calling people, saying it's on our behalf, etc. Skip, if they want to know it's us, what do they need to do? Real easy. 877-220-6540. My microphone sounds like shit. Does I can, it? I can barely hear myself. I hope it's working out there. It's working? Okay. 877-220-6540. That's how you get a hold of us. You'll know you're talking directly to us here at VIP Sports. If you're looking for a free pick, if you want to test the waters a little bit, you want to dip your toes into the pool? Go to our website, VIPSports.com.
LasVegas.com. Make sure you spell out Las Vegas. That's VIP Sports, LasVegas.com. We have packages on there for all levels, all shapes and sizes of sports bettors. More importantly, just give us a call, 877-220-6540. We'll explain the different programs to you. We'll take you by the hand and walk you right through it so there's no mistakes. Fair enough? Fair enough. And I'm going to get right to it. Um, I released a video today uh, a little bit earlier, uh, something I've never done before in my entire life. Um, everybody keeps talking about, you know, you guys are running promotions 12 days of Christmas. You're doing this promotion. You're doing that promotion. But you never release Steve's personal plays, the games that hit 70 plus percent, the games that we're constantly getting envelopes from, the games that have my guys, like I said, 70 plus percent week in and week out. Um, my personal plays are 2,500. So for everybody out there, whether you couldn't afford it or you don't have the money to bet 5000 a game, everyone has and deserves the opportunity to deal with me personally. So what I'm going to do, Skip, and, and I just took rank on this one because I want to make sure that people give, you know, we give back, and I want to make sure I give back to the people that listen to the podcast. Well, it's always better to give than receive, Steve. Correct. And it, don't give if you expect back. Go ahead and give the people something for the holiday. What I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to give you guys an opportunity one fucking time to receive my plays. Work with me on a one-on-one basis, not my guys, not my crew. Work with me and Skip getting my personal plays. Same games that I bet for five and six figures. Same games that you got to spend 100000 to get. $1,000, right? If you watch... You're charging $1,000? Better than that. If you listen to me right now, I'm going to blow your mind. From me to you, Merry Christmas. I'm going to run you from today, Thursday, all the way until Christmas Day. I don't care if they're bowl games. I don't care if it's NFL. I don't care if it's college basketball. You're going to get my personal plays. Same games that I bet myself. Same game my multi-million dollar clients. How much? A thousand? No. One-time charge of a hundred dollar bill. A hundred dollars. Ninety-nine fucking dollars. A hundred dollar bill. Sunday, I've Monday. never done this before in the history of my company. Five I'm days? giving you from now till Christmas oh. my personal plays for one hundred dollars. Wow, is that real a fucking good? simple? I don't need to keep talking about it. I don't need to keep going. If you've never dealt with me before, if you have dealt with me before, uh, there's no restrictions. If you're a client, this is not for you. This is for new members only. If you've never dealt with VIP or if you're not a current client, somebody that signed up last year or something, you can take advantage of it. Merry Christmas. That's all I got to say. I'm giving you guys a $5,000 value for a $100 bill. Why? Because you keep asking, how can I get Steve's games? A lot of people can't afford them. Well, for the Christmas holiday, I want to make sure that you get an opportunity. So calling all cars. For every fucking sports better out there, big, tall, crawling or balling, I don't give a fuck who you are. If you don't spend that $100 to work with me personally from now till Christmas, then you're out of your fucking mind. I will make wow. you more money betting sports in this next five days than you do at your fucking job, and that you can take to the bank. Merry Christmas, my friend. Call him Steve Santa Claus. Goddamn right. A $100 bill, his personal plays, a $5,000 value, Call 877-220-6540. You'll play those games straight through Christmas Day. His personal plays valued at $5,000 till Christmas for a $100 bill. Yeah. Wow. So, so for all you guys out there that are dead serious about making money, all you people out there that don't have $20,000 to get a hold of me, all those small guys out there that want the opportunity to get the big game, Now's your fucking chance. Do they have any idea that you've been banned from making wagers in most of the sports books here in Vegas? Unless they live in a, a, a fucking cave uh, or, or outside a sports book in a box, people, they should know, Skip. People, he's documented as the most feared sports better in the nation. He was featured on CNBC 11 times, documented by the Financial Network as being the number one sports gun in the nation. Well, actually, I made history with the CNBC show. There's not another sports consultant in the history of sports betting that got paid six figures to get their life documented and, and show them a 70-plus uh, winning percentage. I'm on the Business Financial Network as documented 72.3%. No one in the world has credentials even fucking close to that. Just ask Kantner Gaming when you walked in there to make a $10,000 bet, and they said, come on, Steve, you know we can't take your action. Actually, we stopped. I mean, we filmed it. I mean, we yeah. actually. Go to YouTube, VIP Sports, it's, Steve Stevens, yeah. banned from Cantor. That's 100% real. To all you haters or fakers, right. uh, if you think it's fake, call them. Ask yeah. them. Real fucking simple. Call Kantner Gaming. <laughs> ask them if they'll take his bets, because yeah. they won't. If you go to YouTube, like you said, and pull it up, 
Steve Stevens gets barred from Kantner Gaming here in Las Vegas. They refuse to take his bet. I was there. I saw it along with five other people from our office. We fucking filmed it so that you would believe it because a lot of people talk shit. Yeah, men lie, women lie. A lot of people talk shit in this business. We actually filmed them. We filmed the manager of Kantner Gaming telling him, Steve, as he chuckled and said, we can't take your action. You know that. Are you fucking kidding me? You're getting the opportunity to get the most feared sports betters games from now till Christmas for a hundred dollar bill. That's guys, in, that's insane. That is the I've never done that before in my fucking life. Merry Christmas to you. Please take advantage of it. My phone should be ringing off the fucking hook for days straight. Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. I listen, love that. listen, guys, you're out there spending money on everyone else for Christmas, right? The kids are getting what they want. The wife's getting what they want. Uh, your parents are getting what they want. Your grandkids are getting what they want. Everybody's getting what they want. It's about time you get what you deserve. Don't you think there comes a time where you deserve to shine? Have you been losing for so long you forgot what winning was all about? Well, guess what? The pendulum always swings back, my friend. There comes a time where you deserve the best, and you fucking know you do. You know you do. Anyway, you guys can also listen to the VIP Sports Podcast on Apple Podcast, mm-hmm. Spotify, Google Play, Pocket Cast, and any other major podcast platforms. Or simply just ask your Alexa, play the VIP Sports Las Vegas podcast. We post new podcasts every Thursday. Make sure you check us out on YouTube. We love all your comments. We appreciate your thumbs up. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram at VIP Sports LV. You can direct message us with any <coughs> questions and we'll get back with you immediately. Remember, licensed and bonded in the state of Nevada, same location for 17 years. There ain't another motherfucker in the world that has my credentials. Shout out to all you guys out there on Instagram that do your text messages and work from a fucking restaurant like a gump. Anyway, Skip, what are we getting into? Let's get to the VIP five. The it spe- is a sports betting show. You want to tell these guys how to get paid this holiday well, season? Well, we're going to talk about Christmas here for a little bit. We're going to talk about sports betting. We're going to talk about what a great year it's been, 2018. Yes, it has. What an amazing fucking year. You know what? Uh, we're, yeah, what? It's. Not, I know you don't like giving out stats, but... Uh, we only came $5,000, $5,000 short of beating our biggest year, which was last year. Well, it was our biggest baseball season. By far, in the last seven years, easily our biggest baseball season. Numbers-wise, figures-wise, yeah. and then we talked about this last year. Baseball We carries. did more numbers yeah. last year than in the peak of our TV show oh. when we had all the fucking calls Absolutely. coming in. And that's because of you guys, man. Thank you guys for your support. And like I said, we'll keep winning. We'll keep delivering. You guys just keep calling. Yeah, we're way busier now than we were when the show was airing on CNBC. Well, you are because... Way busier. You were because Kenny was connected to the internet taking all your fucking calls. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to sneak sneak in all those leads, huh? motherfucker would come with so many out of the countries. By the way, VIP Sports gets more out of the country clients than anyone in the world. Zimbabwe, Africa... Uh, I got a supersonic whale from Qatar the other day. Kenya. I mean, guys. Q U A. Germany. Q A Q A T A R. Qatar. Or as Obama calls it, Cater. Cutter. Cutter. Yeah, Cutter, I think he calls it. Let- I don't know what the fuck he called. Qatar, Cutter. All I know is it's the richest fucking country in the world, and the guy's firing 25,000 U.S. a game like it's nothing. Like it's a fucking, like it's a nickel. I love it. Anyway, guys, the VIP five that we're going to get into right now, after all, it's a sports show. We're going to give you some information. It's brought to you by our boys over there at BetQL. You mind reading that, Skip, while I take a couple puffs off this? Well, yeah, get yourself a little more Thanks, focus. Bud. Get yourself a... Uh, mental clarity. Little, yeah, mental clarity. Get Shout yourself- out to all the marijuana smokers out there that get mental clarity, mental Absolutely. focus. We do this in bus balls, but believe me, this doesn't affect my strategy and my connections as the most well-respected and connected sports consultant in the world. Get yourself focused, my friend. And after all, a lot of athletes like to smoke weed. You know, you got to be able to bond with them, skip, right? Skip, skip. How many? You got to be able to bond skip. with them. Shh, how many athletes? I, I said enough. How many athletes Shh. have you seen me smoking with right in front of you, Skip? Shh, I said enough. We didn't say any names. VIP any 5 Christmas Edition is brought to you by BetQL. Do you want to get the edge in today's billion-dollar sports betting industry, guys? BetQL gives you powerful data at your fingertips. It's the only mobile app that puts all the important research you need into one place. With BetQL, you can easily access line movements, public betting trends, uh, historical matchup data, any other key information, and it's all in real time, Steve. It's all in real time. Calculate returns on your picks. You can track them throughout the day, see how your plays are doing. Using BetQL's cutting-edge technology, 
And best of all, guys, you can download BetQL for free. It's absolutely free when you use your Apple or your Android device and do it today. Head to BetQL.co to download the only app you need this season. That's BetQL.co. It's made by the creators of RotoQL. They're the leading daily fantasy lineup optimizer, which is trusted by every daily fantasy sports player around the world. That's BetQL.co. <laughs> it's a great app. It's free. Go check it out. I fucking love it. Anyway, let's get into the VIP five. Number one, Eli Manning says uh, his best Christmas gift he ever got was the full Bo Jackson Raiders uniform when he was a little kid. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, I mean, listen, I'm not going to lie to you. One of my most memorable Christmases myself was when I got the Raiders Jim Plunkett full uniform. It had the helmet, the pads, mm -hmm. the jersey. Man, I, I was so, I know exactly what he says. I know Jim you thought that was corny Plunkett. and all that, but yeah. yeah. Jim Plunkett. Yeah, that's my generation, but Jim when I was Plunkett. a little kid. That's... Yeah. Kenny Stabler. Dave, anyway, Dave so, Casper. Dave Casper, yeah. So Flashback. You know, and I also remember getting pumped up when I got my first pair of Superman underoos under that Christmas tree, too. <laughs> I was running around, flying around like Superman around that motherfucker. Oh, bro. my God. Underoos were big as fuck in my, <laughs> in my time, for Su sure. You remember the Superman underoos? Oh, uh, fuck yeah. What do you oh, mean? Man. I mean, I took pride in them motherfuckers. Going to Shout out to underoos. I wonder if underoos are still out there. I man. haven't heard of them for a long I have time. have to get my son some. Shout out to the tidy whities and underoos. Let me ask you a question, Skip. What, uh, you know, what were one of some of the best Christmas gifts you ever received as a kid or at any time in your life? Or maybe there was a gift that you gave to your kids that they went crazy over. In other words, what's the best gift you ever got? Or like, what was the most exotic gift you ever got where they went crazy? Exotic? Well, you know, when just my, something my, that people went my, crazy over. Like your kid was like, oh my fucking God. Oh. Did you trick them or like? No, I mean, what's the best exotic gift I ever got? Yeah. My, well, when my wife came in dressed up like Mrs. Santa. Oh, fuck. I mean, that was, that was pretty fucking... She came in like Miss Claus? Shout out to Mrs. Skipper. I, I love mean, that. That's a fantastic... That was a little exotic fucking gift. All right, so let me ask you this. Uh, the, the gifts you gave, did you ever, like, have your kids going crazy or anything? I got to be honest with you, Steve. I mean, in the world of... In, in Skip's world, it's Christmas every day, brother. Every day's a holiday? Yeah, it's All like... right, so that's the wrong guy to ask. Your answers are fucking terrible. No, my... Aunt, no, listen. When, you know, okay... I'm not here to brag. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you should ask my kids. I mean, I take right side's been all over the country. He's been to every baseball stadium in the country. He's been to what four or five World Series. Was there a He's gift to... that you gave one of your kids there, I'm that telling they went you. crazy over? I'm, I'm telling you. I mean, right side's been to five World Series. Was that for Christmas? He's been to Super Bowl. Was that for Christmas? He's been to every stadium in the country. Was that I for mean, Christmas? It's every, it's an everyday thing with so me. So every day's a holiday. I don't know. Ask my daughter. How was that brand new car? Did you like Whoop. it? <laughs> I mean, did, hey. you, did, did you like it? I love your attitude. I mean, every, I, hey, when you're, when you're rolling with VIP, I guess <laughs> every day is a holiday. Fucking it. It's fucking Christmas. However, it's Christmas every day, Steve. I know what the... Do, I'm gonna, do you mind if I give like a normal yeah, answer that yeah, people are looking for? Well, that's my answer. All right, good answer. Good answer. I, I, I have an answer. 365 days. I remember when I was a kid, my mom got me really, really fucking good. Mm -hmm. She came up with this big-ass fucking box. I mean, the box was fucking huge, dude. Big, so I'm thinking, oh, my fucking God. Because, you know, we're poor, and we ain't had no fucking money. I know the, I feel, mean, I mom, know the feeling. But don't get me wrong. My mom was a single mom. She had our fucking back. We always got that little $100 gift or something that excited Absolutely. us and this, that, and the other. Yeah. But that was about it, dude. You know Absolutely. what I mean? Hey, listen. I, I, you're, Everything you're, else was like socks, T-shirt. You're, you're you know, that preaching. was like gifts under the... You're preaching to the trailer park, kid, you know, brother. If we had a, a stocking, there might have been some candy or something in it. But as a kid, mom, you did fantastic, and thank you. Because even though we didn't have any money, I still felt good as a kid. You know what I mean? Shout out to Mama Stevens. Yeah, so, you know, I felt like everything was fucking good. Hey, so anyway, I, I, she had this big-ass box. This was in my <laughs> skateboarding days mm -hmm. uh, when, uh, you know, I was riding ramps and shit and half pipes. And uh, shout out to John Brennan's ramp out there. You know, I was one of the first kids at 11 years old to drop into the 14 by 14 half pipe. It had like a four-foot vert on it. Fucking sick. Anyway, my mom had a big box. I'm thinking I'm getting like a go-kart or something crazy because I know <laughs> we ain't got no money. Anyway, there were 10 boxes inside of a box. Mm -hmm. When I dug through, but I mean, she took a lot of time to wrap it. She had me excited as a motherfucker. That's what the question was. Something you went crazy. I was like, oh my fucking God. Mm -hmm. I opened that box, went to another one. Opened that one, went to another one. Yeah. It ended up being a little ass box at the very end. Inside it was a voucher to my skateboard shop 
to build any skateboard I fucking wanted up to $300. Nice. For, for then, that was fucking insane. Nice. Was a lot of money. So You know, Mom did a couple extra shows for that. Your mom, oh, yeah, she was out there singing. She had to do a couple extra shifts for that one. You know, my shout mom out was a to professional Mama, singer. Yeah, shout out to Mom Stevens. Professor. Started out the Sundance, yeah. turned into Fitzgerald. Absolutely. And now it's the Diggity D. Uh, she retired when it was the Fitz long time ago. So. Nice. Anyway, so uh, you guys any got, got any Christmas gifts that actually drove the kids crazy or something you got that was fucking crazy? Put your comment in there. Everybody can use ideas for Christmas because these days, if it ain't an Xbox game, these kids don't give a fuck. Yeah, I got a stereo. I'm sitting here thinking while you know you're telling I mean? your story. Yeah. I got a stereo when I was like 11 or 12. That's and you that, were excited and about. It pumped me to fuck up. That's what I mean. All I, right, so you got to I, I think I got a Walkman when Whoa. I was... I think I got a Walkman when I was like 14. But exactly. I'm, I'm in the same boat, Steve. I right. Mean, grew, grew up with two brothers, single mother, yeah. raising, raising three boys. I mean, uh, it wasn't easy, man. Life was fucking hard. And shout out to mom for taking care of business. Goddamn right. No matter what, she worked two, three jobs, made sure we had a little something at Christmas that made us all fucking smile. More and, important, and, and, and more importantly, she took care of us all year round. Right. At Christmas, she always made sure we got a little something that would, you know, excite us. I think it was that stereo when I was about 11 or 12 right. that pumped me to fuck Correct. up. Correct. See, and I put those speakers out uh, up to my window in my bedroom, Bu- and open up them. the windows, and uh, fucking blew. Rolling Stones all day long. Huh, blew Skinner? that trailer park apart. Leonard Skinner. <laughs> You fuck with me, you're fucking uh, with you fuck with me, you're fucking with the whole trailer park. And like I said, I was in North Las Vegas. Like I said, I remember Christmases like the one that I had in my underoos. It was just a lot of family, a lot of love. Uh, you don't need to have money to, to have a good Christmas or your family to love you. As long as you got good love and a good family, Amen. Man, uh, everything is there. So uh, that that was fantastic as well. But anyway, uh, let's move on to number two. Uh, the top ten Christmas movies according to Esquire magazine. Christmas movies. The top 10 Christmas movies. Number one, It's a Wonderful Life. Mm-hmm. Uh, you like The Wonderful Life, Skip? Uh, you know, to be honest with you, I get them all confused. Yeah. I, haven't, well, I, I haven't watched any of them for a yeah. long time. Which is the one where at the end they went to the Chinese restaurant and cut the duck's head off? I have no fucking idea. This is my Was point. Is that the Christmas story? Uh, the, no, here's the top 10 list. It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, movie's okay. Number two, National Lampoon's Vacation. I actually smoked some cushion. and watched that last night. That's funny, yeah. Watching Chevy Chase coked out on the Christmas fucking movie oh. is... Funny as a motherfucker. Chevy Chase was the best. Fucking shout out to Caddyshack all che- day, every shout day. Shout out to Chevy Chase, period. National Lampoons is the only, but hold on. A Christmas Story, not too bad, but That's getting too old. That's the one. Yeah, Christmas Story. Getting kind of old. Home Alone. No, uh, Christmas Story's classic, bro. It's classic, and it's still lasting, but getting old. I'll give you an example. Shoot your eye out. Yeah, well, Home Alone, same thing. Scrooged. Mm-hmm. Miracle on 34th Street. Bad Santa. The Muppet Christmas Carol. And number ten, a Christmas Carol. Now, Bad Santa. That's not a. That, that's not a count. Uh, that sound the kinds. That kind of sounds X-rated. It is. Bad, Bad Santa. Bad Santa. Is that it, an X-rated one? Yeah, it's. It's. Yeah, it's. Uh, he's smoking cigarettes, drunk as fuck. Yeah. But it's. Bad it's, Santa. It's a, 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 a. They're for adults too. Okay. But if you look at these lists, uh, it's a wonderful world. National Lampoon's A Christmas Story, White Christmas, Home Alone, Scrooge, Miracle on Thirty Fourth, Bad Santa. Now. Number 15th was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Mm-hmm. Well, I, Skip, I don't... Uh, hold on. And number uh, 14th was a Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh, that was always the well, best. Okay, but hold on. My kids, you got to understand, these movies are so fucking old. First of all, Charlie Brown, they don't even speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Brown... They were on... Charlie, rah, 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 rah. Yeah, Charlie Brown's crew was on LSD. Bro. And Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, we already told you, Rudolph's coked the fuck out. Yeah. That fucking cartoon absolutely scares these kids. What, Rudolph? <laughs> yeah. Skip, the old-ass Rudolph and the old-ass Charlie Brown are so fucking old, that's why they're down to number 14 and 15. Guys, do you guys, do you guys agree? Do you have three-year-old, four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old, seven-year-old? They ain't watching that shit. That old-ass cartoon scares the fuck out of them. Make a new Rudolph. Make a new Charlie Brown that's up to date. Real fucking simple. Listen, I, Char- when we were kids, man, Charlie Brown was the fuck. I, mean, I loved it. Snoop- Snoopy and Charlie Brown. I mean, that was that was the shit. Dude. Skip, I wanted- Christmas time. It was Snoop the, the Snoopy Christmas story. Goddamn right. And I wanted my Charlie kids- Brown, baby. I wanted my kids to love it. Even watched it with Peyton and Sean, the older ones. They're like, "What the fuck is this? Yeah, I don't like it. It's old. It's nasty. I'm telling you. I can see where today's generation would have no time for Charlie the Brown anima- or, or Snoopy. The animation or the Red it- Baron. The animation of it's too fucking old. I think right. Charlie Brown can still sell. Right. I still think, but they need to animate it and make it new. Hmm. You know, put Charlie Brown in some Jordans instead of the old ass hush puppies he's wearing, you know? Yeah. 
Charlie Brown's creators. Maybe dead. give Charlie a couple tattoos. Let him yeah, rap. Tat let, him up. Maybe, maybe let him rap a let song or something. Let him smoke weed behind the shed. Yeah. Shit, Sing you know a little hip hop or something. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Have him hit Patty's ass at uh, the right time. You know what I mean? <laughs> Have a fucking. <laughs> oh, I'm getting ideas we're now. We're taking it wrong, man. Hey, we're just maybe, trying to give you ideas, Fox, on how to get it back to the number one show. <laughs> I but just had a couple great ideas. Me too. Try. We'll keep it to ourselves. <laughs> anyway, his, moving... crew, his crew was definitely on LSD, though. Right. Oh, no doubt about it. The way they were mumbling and fumbling. Right, right. Uh, no yeah. doubt. And yeah. stip, you know, tripping through the neighborhood and shit. Correct, yeah. 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 So, now, let me ask Carrying, you. Carrying blankets over their shoulders But and these shit. top ten movies, these ain't for kids. These nah, are for adults. They ain't for these me These are either. movies adults watching. And as an adult, I'm getting tired of them, too. So... Besides about three of them on these lists, Whew. they're going to need to update a lot of these fucking movies. Don't you guys agree? Absolutely. Let me know. Anyway, uh, here's the top ten classic Christmas songs, Oh. which I'm definitely getting old because... La, 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 la. Yeah, number one, White Chris Christmas, Bing Crosby. White Christmas. Oh, I got a lot of things. Stevens always loves a white Christmas. Everyone does. Skip. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Well, when you're from Vegas, when you see the snow, it's kind of exciting. Yeah, you know what I mean? Absolutely. So, uh, do your kids know who Bing Cosby is? Because mine Fuck sure don't no. have a fucking clue. No. And I don't know how they have number one as a Christmas song of all time. Anyway, these are for adults. Because I, I'm not going to lie, Skip. If you or I went out of town right now to San Fran, mm -hmm. we hit up Gino and Carlos. Right and Bing Crosby was in there, White Christmas, it'd probably be very refreshing. Do okay. you not like Christmas well, it depends in what the kind bars of, right now? Well, it depends how fucking drunk I was. Correct. You I can't mean, just have it. If I was like a back. half a bottle deep, if I was knee deep in the whiskey. Oh, I'm going to need to hear I some mean, aggressive shit. I might go five finger death punch at well, that point. I mean, listen, you want to, oh, I'm dreaming. Yeah. You want to do a little Christmas carol? You put the Christmas songs on when you've had about eight beers. You found a rail in the fucking bathroom that someone left over. <laughs> you did that first one. You're real emotional. <laughs> And you just want to tell the guy next to you how happy you are and how yeah. good the Christmas holiday is. Let it snow, is. let it snow, let, let it, it snow. Let it snow, let it yeah. snow. Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, number one, Bing Crosby, White Christmas. Number two, it's the most wonderful time of the it's year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. We've said it over to and over. To bet sports. Andy Williams, to bet games. <laughs> it's the most wonderful time to bet games. Absolutely. We remix that shit. Number three, Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle. By Bobby Helms out there. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Your I girl's want to <laughs> I had a million ones tonight. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> hey, I got to be honest with you. I got great fucking... Don't you think we can remix these songs I, a little bit better? I got great Christmas Carol uh, parodies. White, let's just... Let's I, just I, I'm really good at Christmas let's Carol parodies. You know what? I'm going to go over these, and I just want you to remix them real quick, all right? <laughs> Number one, White Christmas. By, hey, listen. Oh, White on. Christmas by Steve Stevens. You know what I mean? What about number two? It's the most wonderful time of the year. Skip, how do you... We just did that one. It's it the most is... wonderful time of the year to bet sports. No doubt right. about it. Yeah. Number three, Jingle Bells. Jingle, jingle Bell bells, Rock. Jingle Bells. She sucks jingle... a big cock. Huh? Absolutely. What about Rocking Around the Christmas Tree? Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. Steve oh. loves his OG, huh? What do you got? <laughs> uh, a Holly Rock, Jolly rocking Christmas. Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. I don't even remember that. A Holly Jolly Christmas. Mm -hmm. whoa, 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 whoa. Keep going. <laughs> Bert Ives. Who the fuck is Bert, Bert Ives? Ives. Huh? I don't know. These are some old fucking songs, dude. The Christmas song, Nat King Cole. Unbelievable. Number seven, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. That's it. And if you ever saw it, <laughs> you would even say it glows. You would even think he's on blow. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, Number eight, <laughs> Last Christmas by Wham. Now, mm. what the fuck is that one? I don't know what that is. I know who Wham is. Wake Last me up before you go. go. Last he's coked Christmas. out. He's dead, huh? Shout out to know. fucking, what was his name? George Michael. George Michael passed away. A lot of coke in his life. Mm. A lot of cocaine mixed in with Christmas, huh? A lot of snow, yeah. Uh, Elvis. There it is. Bell, let it snow, bell, let it snow, let it snow. Yeah. Dean let Martin. it snow. Well, fuck. Of course, let it snow came from Dean Martin, the yeah. cocaine crew. You Absolutely, know what I mean? yeah. Between him and fucking uh, the man, the boss of all bosses. Yeah. Lick my balls and stroke my shaft. Fa la 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 la. Sammy Davis, Dean Martin, and the fucking number one gun, the Godfather. How much alcohol? Is they said Dean used to fake the alcohol. No. But the cocaina they were doing. No, he, they said in a lot of those things, he would have like a Dr. Pepper or soda claiming to be whiskey. That's You're a kidding fact. Me. No, I know that as a fucking fake fact. Fake ass motherfucker. Dean Everybody Martin. else was drunk as a motherfucker. Don't ruin it for me. Well, I was telling you, you can't just go do that many shows. 
uh, in that many lounge acts and really be wissied out. Mm -hmm. When you and I go on a risky run, I've asked you to do the podcast and have a shot. You don't even want to smell it. You're like me. You're a hypocrite. Have when you're on it, so. you're all good with it, but you don't want it around you if you're recovering. Right. Is that not true? Let's move on from the Christmas songs. What else have we got? Uh, Sports Business Journal released its annual list of the most influential people in sports business of 2018. I'm assuming we were at the top. Well, I was just going to say, <laughs> number one, uh, number one, <clears throat> VIP sports for everything right. they've accomplished in the sports betting industry. Steve Stevens and the Big Skipper, and the Big Skipper says right here. Yeah, personal award. Number for, one. Yeah. yeah uh, uh, in helps of making sports betting legal in every state. Correct. Steve, the Big Skipper. Yeah. Uh, making America good again by helping people win that have been prodded by losers. Shout out to the Sports Business Journal for putting us on top. Thank you, guys. I appreciate, I want to give a shout out to the Sports Business Journal for giving us this award. We've worked hard to make sports betting legal in these states. Mm -hmm. uh, we've spent millions of dollars and my hair has turned gray for your payday to make sure that I work directly with the guys that make the lines out here in Vegas, players, coaches, and CEOs to just bring you the best sports information available. Sports reporters, beat writers, former players. Thank you guys for giving me the number one. Thank you. But all. number thank, two. Thank you all. Uh, at number two, which is a nod to the massive new consumer base that uh, for decades been mostly off limits to U.S. companies in every state but Nevada. Not anymore, Big Skip. The American Sports Gambler, which is the sports bettors, beat out the NBA commissioner, Adam Silver. That's not hard to do. Who is number two. Mm -hmm. Or should I say number three? Well, Steve we're number Stevens one, and right? us, number one. Right. Sports betters, number two. Right. Adam Silver, number three. Correct. So, you know, we did our job. We beat out the NBA this year in educating America on sports betting and doing a sports podcast where we actually preview about eight games and go six for eight pretty much every fucking week, mm -hmm. week in and week out. Uh, I appreciate you giving us this award. We take pride in delivering the best sports information to people without no bullshit, without previewing every game on the board. We just preview games that you either A, need to stay away from, that'll put you in the poorhouse, or B, games to bet on, games that are trending, games that you bottom line, get the fucking money. Absolutely. I say we take a break, come back, get into some college basketball, some bowl games, and tell these motherfuckers how to make some money this Christmas holiday. Right after the break. Fair enough? Fair enough. like making money, correct? I'm Steve Stevens. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie. I'm the bookie killer. Whether you're here in town on business or to flat out gamble, don't forget, sports betting is a multi-billion dollar industry and you deserve your fair share. Call 877-220-6540 or go to VIPSportsLasVegas.com, mention this ad, and get a $500 personal play absolutely free. See you in the winner circle. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're tuned into the VIP Sports Podcast. I'm Darren Notero, a.k.a. the Bookie Killer, sitting here with my co-host, the Big Skipper. They call him the chiropractor. He's known to straighten people out. It's our Christmas edition. First half of the show, we rambled on a little bit about Christmas songs and this, that, and the other. We're in the festive, festive spirit. I did a promotion that I've never done before in my entire life. I've made uh, my games and my plays available to every sports better from now till Christmas for $99, which I've never done 
before in my entire life. So we're celebrating the holidays. We're excited. Uh, Skip, if you don't mind, I'd like to take a little toast with you uh, on air. I I know I kind of set you up for this. I know you weren't ready to have it, but the toast is I appreciate every fucking thing that you've done this year. You've ran the company over and beyond uh, your your deed of duty. Uh, You've almost matched our biggest year ever, minus $5,000, which I'm sure if we did a recount like the votes in Florida, we could probably find (laughs) 5,000. And uh, I just appreciate everything you've done for the company. Keep it up. And if you love where we are in 2018, well, you're going to love where we're going in 2019, brother. Shout out to Dino and the Harvest. Shout out to DC Sports, my boy Dino, who I love, my main man for the Northern Harvest, straight from Canada, award-winning shit, guys. What is that, 40 fucking, fucking percent alcohol? 40 percent. Remember, we don't wow. just drink Crown. We, we drink Northern Harvest, strictly from Canada, the award winner. Check that shit out. Merry Christmas, You kid. too, buddy. Love you, bud. And Merry Christmas to all you people out there, too, that are going to drink Crown and Woo. get all the way down, because that shit right there, Dino. Woo! That shit right there will have me lighting up a Canadian cigarette, eh? Holy fuck. That shit's stronger than fucking Khloe Kardashian's breath at 3 in the morning. <laughs> Holy fuck. Anyway, was that officer? No, I haven't been drinking. I haven't done anything, sir. Mm. Anyway, welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get right down to it. We're going to talk about top 10 teams and how they're ranked against the spread. We talked about this last year. A lot of people have been calling in asking about it. Who's college basketball sponsored by, Skip? Oh, me again? College basketball <laughs> is college basketball is brought to you by Paperhead, paperhead.com. If you've missed out on all the winnings from the first half of the football season, shame on you. Here's the good news. It's never too late, and it's not too late right now. There are still billions of dollars out there, and for all of us, we can share those billions of dollars. So if you're ready to get in the game, let me hook you up with my friends. They're at paperhead.com paperhead.com, get access to the best player management software in the business with the know-how you need to hit the ground running from now all the way through the Super Bowl. And today, I've got good news for you, people. Paperhead is extending their offer. It's $3. That's three grocery dollars per head for every Prime package plus one month of free access to their true live wagering. So that's $3 per head for their Prime package, plus you get one month of free access to their true live wagering, which is an offer exclusive to the VIP Sports Podcast fans. We've been working together with Paperhead.com for a long time now, Steve. I love their product, and it's time for you guys to check it out. Experience sports betting as your own mogul, as your own businessman. Give them a call. It's 888-978-0288. They'll hook you up with a free demo. That's 888-978-0288. Don't forget to tell them Steve Stevens and the Big Skip sent you over there, and they'll give you a free demo. Fair enough? Absolutely. And, guys, don't forget to check out these sports betting 101s that I'm putting out. That's vital information uh, for you guys to have in the sports betting field. (coughs) Skip and I are going to be putting out these series of how to bet parlays, how to make money, what the spread is, how to make money in the totals. So we're going to get right into college basketball. Before you go betting your favorite team this holiday season, like we told you, here's how the top 10 ranked teams in America are doing against the spread. Mm -hmm. By the way, Dino, that's some strong shit. I see why that won. Hits your stomach immediately, doesn't it? Yeah, especially if you haven't eaten anything. I haven't eaten nothing all day. We got a few Strombolis coming, though. We got something going. Stromboli. Absolutely. Uh, Skip, what's number one? Kansas Jayhawks are five and five against the spread. Five covers? Five knock covers. That's not making you any money. Uh, however, seven out of their ten games have been over. Seven and three to the over for the K- Kansas Jayhawks. This is why we're doing this segment. Grab a pen and a piece of paper because this is shit you guys don't have. We're telling you how to make money on top ten teams. Like, everybody wants to bet Kansas because you're from Kansas or you went to school there. They're five and five against a spread. If you bet them all year long, you're up shit's creek with no fucking paddle. However, if you like action on the game and you're betting the over, you're seven and three, which is 70%. Now you're balling out of fucking control. So if you're going to bet Kansas, make sure you bet the over because there's a hell of a lot more money to be made on the total than there is on the side. Rock, Num- chalk, Jayhawk. Number two, Duke. 
Seven and four against the spread. Mm-hmm. Uh, not even 66%. That's like 60, right at 60%. I mean, you're eight up, and four would be 66%. So. Seven and four, you're up three units minus the juice. You haven't really got rich. You didn't lose any money betting Duke not, so far. Correct. So if you're betting Duke, you're not losing. You've won a couple units. It is what it is. However, if you're betting Duke under, they're nine and two to the under in their last 11 games. Surprising with the, the great team they got in the high-powered offense. Nine and two to the under. Nine and two to the under, the Duke Blue Devils. Skip, coming from a guy that knows the guys that make the line, and you just said it's quite frank, you know goddamn well that the power lines on Duke are way too fucking high. They're inflated on the total, which yeah. leads you to the reasoning why they're nine and two to the under. Exactly what the fuck you said at they the know beginning. It. You they- said they don't know how to read Duke. They're an NBA team. So what are they doing? They're putting high-ass totals on them, and we're strictly, guys, cashing in on the total week in and week fucking out. Cash that fucking ticket and get that fucking money. That's what I'm doing every week. Well, I've they, been on the under every fucking game over the last 11 games. I'm 9-2 as, as well on the under. Well, the odds makers know that people are going to bet the Duke game's over. I mean, they're on TV every fucking game, and they know they're, they got that high-powered offense, and they're going to bet the over on the Duke games. <laughs> One of the biggest... So they inflate the number, and it stays under 9 out of 11 times. Shout out to that fucking uh, Cush Mountains out there. I love it. Uh... A team that everybody bets. This is one of the most bet teams in college basketball. I don't know why. Tennessee. They're really good. Four and three against the spread. The Vols are really good this year. It's a team that doesn't make you any money against the spread. And as far as the over-under, they're four and four, which is 500. Right. This is a team that you make absolutely no money on. I'm telling you once. I'm not going to tell you twice. Tennessee is not a team to bet on sports at all at any time or the total. Agreed? Uh, that's what you said. No, that's what I'm telling you. Uh, this team cannot make you money. They're 500 against the spread, 500 to the total, way more value in other divisions outside of top 10. Tennessee Vols are a really good team. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top Tennessee. Skip, good at what? Sucking dick or winning games outright? Because they're, they're not good against the spread. Oh, they're great at winning games outright. They're not good against the spread. No, they're four, three, and one against the spread. Yeah, they sure are. So that's Absolutely. With, with with juice, you're, you're broke. I, I, I would just have to disagree with one thing you said. And then the total. I, there, there's going to be. I th- said it's a team you never bet on, and you never bet the total. There's going to be Who times. Who wants to bet a team that's five hundred? There's going to be times to make money on Tennessee this year. You pick your spots, of yeah, course. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. the only thing I'm saying. Absolutely. Michigan State. Everybody, excuse me, listen, Michigan. Mm-hmm. Everybody's betting fucking Michigan. Guess what? They're five and six against the spread. They got you in the poorhouse right. and got your wife next door looking for sugar. <laughs> and when the old lady's looking for sugar next door, Nothing she good. usually gets bent over. Nothing good usually yeah. comes out of that. Nothing good. However, for all you Wolverine <laughs> fans out there, it's seven and four to the under. Yep. Which is a respectable number to get paid. Michigan's always been an under team for years, and this year's so far is no different. So uh, you, it's the Big Ten. Big Ten unders all day, every day. So you're going to want to bet the under in Michigan. They're seven and four against the spread. Let's move on to Virginia, where there's absolutely nothing to do but cook out there in Virginia. Well, Virginia's for lovers, Steve. Is it? Yeah, and it's for making money, too. Shout out to Jordan. He's out there in Virginia, isn't he? Shout out to Virginia. Uh, all the lovers in Virginia, 6-3 and three against the spread. 6-3, and three, 67% of their games they've been covering so far, and 5-4 and four to the under. Virginia so, Cavaliers. Write this down, guys. Uh, what you don't want to do is bet the... Uh, you don't want to bet the totals at all uh, on Virginia... And like Skip said, 6-3 and three against the spread is 66%. Not bad. I, I give you the green light to bet Virginia. Uh, anybody with a 6-3 and three record, I'll take all day long. That's considered one of the best. Actually, before I was documented by CNBC, 67% was documented the best and considered unbelievable. That's actually phenomenal. Yeah, correct. So yeah. let's just keep it 100. Uh, Nevada Wolfpack. Shout out to Sarah D. out there getting good grades at Nevada. You know Mark D.'s daughter goes to... No I, no, I didn't know that. She's been killing it. Nice. The, but they've also been killing it on the spread. Six and three and one, and depending on your line. They should be seven and three, depending on your line on that game. Now, check this out, guys. Our state team here, the Nevada Wolfpack. Is getting that money if you're betting them. If you're uh, betting Reno, solid, you're getting paid. Solid team. So I'm telling you right now, if you're betting Reno and you're betting the Reno under, you're making a bunch of money. Eight and two in their last ten games to the under. Mm-hmm. Wolfpack is getting that goddamn money. So you got three top six schools that are dead unders. Correct. Duke, Michigan, Nevada. Yeah. Duke, Michigan, Nevada. Another team, Nevada, puts up a lot of points. Correct. High-powered offense. 
Uh, under, under, under. Under, just Duke, like Duke. Duke, Michigan, and Nevada. Under. Unders. Correct. Now let's talk about some teams that go over. Auburn. Everybody bets Auburn for some reason because the South, everyone in the Auburn loves to bet. Mm-hmm. Better team at home on their own court. Correct. Five and three against the spread. Five and four to the over. Write this down, guys. Cross Auburn off. I don't give a fuck they're five and three against the spread. It's not a team to bet on sports at all. Don't, don't put don't your tr- money on them. There's too many other teams to be betting on. on. I don't trust them. I don't trust them on the road, especially. They're untrustworthy, and more importantly, they will have you in the fucking foreclosure status. Last thing, you want to be out on a date with this new girl. Uh, you're chilling like a motherfucker. You're vibing. You're inside. You got 10 grand in your pocket, and you see your fucking bins getting repoed right outside the not a, That's not a good position. Not to be. a good no. thing to do. You're telling her that you got a great job. You make a couple hundred grand a year. Right. But the BMW gets dragged right out from the repo guy, <laughs> right outside the U-Haul. You look uh, dumb as a motherfucker, and uh, you lost that deal right off right. the bat. Because all your money went to the bookie, and you couldn't make your Beamer payment. Correct. You're a guy that claims to be, you know, world-class real right. estate agent, whatever. Right. You're pulling up in a Ferrari. All you sell is million-dollar homes. Right. You're up at the ridges where I just moved into. You're showing a listing. All of a sudden, your Ferrari gets repoed while you're in the house showing the guy the oh, listing. Oh, bad situation. Bad situation, yeah. guys. That's the type of team Auburn is. Okay. Now, on the other hand, Gonzaga. Mark Few getting them fucking paper all day, every day. Listen to this, guys. Gonzaga is a solid team all around. Here's why. Gonzaga is 8-4 and four to cover the spread, mm-hmm. which is 66%, which is fucking amazing. And guess what? They're also 8-4 and four to the over. Mm-hmm. So all you guys, listen, for all the sports degenerate skip, you know as well as I do, the reason why Vegas has so much money is because these amateur sports bettors come in and bet the favorite, and the over. Mm-hmm. Am I lying? Mm-mm. The favorite and the over, no matter what it is, right? That's traditional, and everyone knows it. Guess what? If the degenerate is betting Gonzaga in the over, they're winning. They're 16 and motherfucking <coughs> 8, making a ton of fucking money, 66%. Yeah, another team going over in the top 10, North Carolina Tar Heels, 8-2 and two to the over, only 5-3 and three against the spread with two ties. Uh, however, North Carolina over, 8-2 and two to the over. Uh, what a game that was the other night. Easy fucking Guys, Easy once fucking again, listen over. to my fucking point as a sports better. This show is all about making money betting sports. I don't give a fuck about these schools. I told you before, I don't have a degree in sports. I can't tell you who played in 1954 and frankly don't give a fuck. Has no bearing with the team and covering against the spread today. I run these fucking streets. That's what the fuck I do. And I make sure you guys fucking win. Period. North Carolina, you only bet that team over. So three. stop betting on Carolina, betting it over. They're eight and two, 80 fucking percent. If you're betting the over in the last 10 games in Carolina, you're getting fucking paid. So three teams in the top 10 to the over, Kansas, Gonzaga, North Carolina, three teams in the top 10 are under teams, Duke, Michigan, Nevada, under. The best covering team, the number one team against the spread in the top 10 to sum it up, Gonzaga, eight and four, followed up by Duke, seven and four, and Michigan State also 7-4. and four. You hit it on the head. To all you degenerates out there, to all you valet parkers, to all you dope dealers, to all you parlay suckers out there, make sure you're pounding uh, Gonzaga and the over, and that's how you can get your degenerate money. Yeah. Besides that, if you don't take advantage of my $100 promotion to get personal fucking plays to deal with El Scorcho, the numero uno, then you're out your motherfucking mind. Steve Steve Arino just doesn't come out the game for $100, Skip. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. Now, now that we're on the rec, now that we're talking about totals, let's go outside of the top 10 real quick. I'm going to go over some of the teams that we have said on previous podcasts that have been solid under teams, and they just continue to hold strong to the under. The Manhattan Jaspers. The Manhattan Jaspers. 9-1 and one to the under, guys. 9-1, and one, the Manhattan Jaspers to the under. Northwestern State. Not Northwestern. Are North- you guys writing this down? Because I know you're trying to steal shit. But this actually, this week, they're probably not listening because of the $100 promotion to work with the best sports consultant and the richest sports consultant in the game. Uh, no fake views, no fake likes, more money in sponsors than anybody, more winners than anybody. Northwestern State, 9-1 and one also to the under. Another team, 9-1 and one to the under. Texas Arlington, UT Arlington, the Mavericks, 9-1 and one to the under. Wow. Kelly. UC Davis. Eight, yeah. Eight What's going one. on? I'm at Target. You're at Target. What are you doing at Target? Christmas shopping, oh. which I need some money. 
You need some <laughs> money. Fuck are you talking about you need some money? Because the black Amex ain't yeah, working. You, you need and money? Single- what happened? The, the, the Amex, they, they said declined or what? <sighs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. You know this isn't going to be a Louis Vuitton. You know this isn't going to be a Louis Vuitton Christmas, right? I doubt it. You know this isn't going to be a Rolex Christmas, right? All right, there. Well, I'm just saying, are you excited with the new house that you got for Christmas up there at the Ridges? Or? Absolutely. Yeah. Can you please the front for me, please? Thank you. Oh, Listen, thank you. pay attention. Pay attention because I got to do my show. I got to go. So oh, what's up? if you had anything in the world you could possibly want besides my penis, what would you want for Christmas? A uh, Roly. A Roly? You know, you sound like a spoiled fucking kid. I told you over and over and over, I don't want my kids raised this way. I told you my Love kids aren't you. going to Gorman. Day. I don't want my high school kids Bye, snorting Kim. coca. I... Talk to y'all later. What? You see she what? hung up on... You see what the she... fuck? Wait a now, second. See... Ta- hold on. Time no, out. hold on. Time now, you see what the fuck I deal with, homeboy? Time out. I got a three-year-old. Now, let me call my three-year-old. She'll say, Daddy, I need my nails done by 5 o'clock or it's going to be a fucking... I think I'm fucking up, dude. I need a count. I need a life coach, dude. Wait a second, dude. I'm raising trust fund kids, dude. Wait a second. You just moved into a $2 million fucking house. Three. And she just hung up on you. Oh, yeah. You just... No, she yeah. ain't clowning nobody. She knows she was on the podcast. We tricked her a little bit because oh. I just wanted you guys to get a taste of AKA Kelly Tuttle, Kelly Notero. She's doing a little Christmas shopping. The first thing she said was, I need a little bit more. This is she not said, good, I need... fellas. I said, She's... how much you need? She said, this much. <laughs> This, hey, listen, I am not Henry Hill. Unbelievable. So You, just, uh, you know we call her Ginger, right? You just, That's her nickname, Ginger from Casino. Ginger? Oh, I thought you meant from Gilligan's Island. No, not that. Well, that, <laughs> that's a good... <laughs> she's like Ginger from Gilligan's, too. She, <laughs> she loves to spin that paper, but she's a great girl. She loves it. Unbelievable. You so know, you call her up... I see, ruined her, dude. You call her up... You know see, it. I did it. You, I ruined her. You figure she's going to be getting her nails when done? When I met her, she... Now, she comes from a rich family. However, she had guest purses and guest jeans when she met me. Right. Now she's Louis and Versace and motherfucking Gucci down to the socks. Um, Rings and watch filled with rocks. Unbelievable. You know what I mean? And she says, all right, man, see you later. Click. Fuck you. See ya. <laughs> so, hey, and yeah, you know what? Shout out to all the, the, the women out there uh, that do keep the kids because I used to say that baby watching the kids was not a full-time job, and it absolutely is. Mm. When we and Kelly broke up for a while and I had the kids myself, watching those kids is a full-time job, man. You ain't got to tell me. Yeah, I know. You've raised some other ones. You did really good. Thank you. Shout out to right side, left side, east side, and west side. You mm. know what I'm saying? You west side? Anyway, Skip, let's get into a little college. Well, first of all, some teams, let, let, mm. we, since we're on there, some teams from our under list uh, from last week's podcast are still holding strong. I already went over this. Did you? Yes, yeah, Smokey. Well, I mean, is it the fucking crown? Is it the weed? Is it the phone calls to Kelly? They, they already heard this. Don't give a fuck. If they ain't hearing it from me, then they don't hear shit. Manhattan, Jasmine. If they don't hear it from me, doesn't mean nothing. Manha- Manhattan. Manhattan, these North- nuts. Northwestern State, Tex- <laughs> UT Arlington, UC Davis. UTDs, NUTs. Yeah, all under. Guys, all let's unders. Get- Isn't it bowl season? Yeah, let's get into the bowls. Ladies and gentlemen, it's bowl season. You deserve the best. You guys want to get a Ferrari? You want a Rolls Royce? Uh, you want to get a 2018 fucking Denali, uh, back-to-back different colors like Skip? You want to hit jackpots? You want to be a winner in life? You want to be a master closer? You want to have the world by the balls or by the clit? I could show you how to do that all fuck. Oh, she, 50 minutes? It's our Christmas edition. By the end of the show, I might just be peeling on motherfuckers. You know what I mean? I just ran a $100 fucking all the way till Christmas. I mean, that's a $5,000 fucking promotion. What else you want me to do? 50 minutes, Dougie Fresh, and you're on. Let's Good go. news about us and the sponsors that we have, we do whatever we want to do. Absolutely. Okay, and do what we ever want to do segment is brought to you by our boys over there at betonline.ag. Betonline.ag is one of the web's most popular betting destinations, and there's no better time or place to place your action in college football bowl season, NFL playoff chase, and the NBA and college basketball regular season. It's the most wonderful time of the year, as song number three, uh, most famous Christmas songs, by the way. Uh, With its management team together since 1991, Mm -hmm. BetOnline.ag offers wagering on nearly every sport and event possible. Once you're in action, you'll see firsthand why BetOnline.ag has an A-plus rating, including the earliest opening odds in the industry, best live betting software in the business, 
and most importantly, fast payouts. Sign up for a new account using the promotional code STEVE and get a 50% bonus on your first deposit up to $1,000. That's the promotional code STEVE on any new account. BetOnline.ag because you can. Like I said, guys, make sure you get over there. They'll give you an account and then tell us that you didn't sign up. So shout out to BetOnline for us sending you probably millions of dollars and acting like we've sent you nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you too with all your bullshit. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on, Big Skip. Idaho Potato Bowl, Western Michigan, and BYU. BYU a 12-and-a-half point favorite in this contest. Idaho Potato Bowl. Shout out to Mr. Taylor, who used to bring us potatoes all the time. Abraham, Shout out to at, Abram, buddy? Abram, Abram. He was on our show. Yeah. He was a guy I took to the barber shop. My man, still a friend of family. Sneaker store. Abram, where's Pops at, man? I ain't got my potatoes. Is everything good or what? I don't know. Where are those Idahos? Anyway, we usually get our I Idaho potatoes from well, a guy that actually grows them in Idaho yeah. in his organic form. Well, Idaho, Utah, everybody a damn hoe. I used to say Idaho because I don't know. Yeah, Idaho, she a hoe, everybody a damn hoe. Goddamn right they are. Here's a hoe, catch a hoe, and another hoe. West, Merry Christmas. Western <laughs> Michigan, BYU. BYU is 12 and a half. Total in this game is right around 50, maybe 49 and a half, depending on where you're shopping. The total has gone under in four of BYU's last five games, guys. BYU 4-1 to the under their last five games. BYU is 15-0 straight up in their last 15 games as when they've been a double-digit favorite. Well, as well as they should be, Steve. Goddamn right they should. If you're a double-digit favorite, you should win straight up. So the last 15 times they've been double-digit favorites. You want to hear the promotion I just read? They've won the game. First of all, I want to wish everybody out there a happy holiday and a merry, merry Christmas. From our family here at VIP Sports, to you. What is like that? I said, you work hard all year long. Make sure that this Christmas is the most festive one you've ever had. However, let's make sure that it doesn't break you as well. People have been calling me and asking me, Steve, uh, we've seen these 12 Days of Christmas ads that Skip ran. We see these other promotions that are for smaller players, guys that are just getting rocking and rolling. But how can we ever get a hold of one of your games without having to pay $2,500 a game? Well, you know, I thought about it, and I said, it is Christmas holiday. People deserve something very, very special. So I tell you what I'm going to do, and I've never done this before in my entire life. It's Christmas time, and you might as well call me Santa Claus because I got a gift. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run everybody from today, Thursday, all the way until Christmas Day, what else do they Tuesday. Want? You heard me right, from today all the way till Christmas. Now, here's the kicker. You're going to work with me personally. What? You're gonna get nothing but personal Skip, I told plays, you I wasn't playing. And I charge are these, is it, are these fucking, I mean, these are you're gonna get you a lot of calls. Fucking phone calls, calls off this. I hope you're ready to work money. with a lot of people. Get the fucking money. I hope you got these time for these people. I was on CNBC. You're gonna get a lot of calls. The reason why my company does fifteen million dollars a year. These are the games everybody wants. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run you guys from today till Christmas. My personal plays for ninety nine dollars. Wow. Did I not fucking tell you I was gonna run that fucking promotion? Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't take advantage of that, it doesn't really even fucking matter. I hope you got a lot of time on your hands. Yeah, you want to put an Idaho potato up your bookie's ass? Mm. Take advantage of that fucking promotion. Skip already broke down the potato bowl. Uh, Western Michigan against BYU, 12 and a half spread, 50 total. What are you looking at in this game, Skip? Uh, well, what, like I said, BYU 4-1 to the under. What do you like, Skip? Fuck the stats. What uh, do you like in this game, I Skip? I can't say that. They're going to have to pay me for that. Fuck you, pay me. Now yeah. you're Jesse James, That's huh? It. I love your fucking That's attitude. It. No free shit from me. Uh, you're going to get some stats. You're going to get some trends uh -huh. for free on the podcast. Okay. I'm not giving you Skip's fucking opinion for free. Uh, now I love your attitude. Now not, there's a Skip. It's just not happening anymore. You know what? Oh, I love You know why? Because we look, get paid for our games, yeah. and it's not our job they just don't to tell you every single game. You they know just what I mean? don't appreciate it. They, no, go they, back, they go back to FedEx, and they grab the envelopes. Oh, my they, they God. Ju they just don't appreciate uh, it. Yeah, I don't. That's, that's horrible. It, Sh yeah. and let's move on to the Armed Force Bowl. By the way, shout out to Armed Force uh, yes. people out there, yes. anybody that supports our country uh, in the armed forces, uh, people that's out there uh, protecting our lives so we can do what we love to do. People don't give them enough credit. They're out there busting their ass nonstop. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to all the homeless veterans that America doesn't give a fuck about that they put on the streets. Uh, they take them to the military, uh, let them see some fucked up shit, expose them to fucked up shit. Why, they're in the military, they lose their family, they lose their wives. Uh, and then they come home to this bullshit and there's no treatment for them. Shout out to the homeless vets as well during this Christmas holiday 
See. Shout out to Mr. Trump for bringing the troops home from Syria. Motherfucking right. Get them the fuck out of there. We kicked ISIS's ass. Get them the fuck out of there. Get them home for the holidays. Shout out to uh, making America great again. Anyway, uh, the Armed Force Bowl guy, Houston versus Army. Army minus five. Houston should be absolutely embarrassed. Uh, only one year, two years, three years ago, this was a fucking serious fucking team against the spread. Now you're giving up five to the Army? Fucking embarrassing. How the, although... Army's pretty fucking serious. Check this out, Skip. Houston is one and four against the spread in its last five games with the Army. Mm -hmm. So uh, the trend right there is Houston just can't fuck with the Army. With their team this year, I can't see it happening again either. The total has gone over in five of Houston's last six games. Okay? Now that's current. The total has gone over in Houston's five of their last six games. Not against Army, just period. Mm -hmm. Okay? The to the, the, also, Houston is 4-12 and 12 straight up in its last 16 games in December. Makes you wonder how they're even in a bowl game. So, like I said, guys, this is a team that shouldn't even be in the bowl game, period. Houston is a big fucking disappointment in sp college football this season. And I'm just going to come out and tell you, salute the Army, salute the military. Should be an easy win against Houston. Armed but Forces Bowl, Army minus the five. Hawaii Bowl, brought up brothers in the motherfucking house. Listen. What happened to all the Hawaii houses, brada, brada? The Hawaii, listen, you got to admit, Skip, you've been running the sales room for fucking years. In the last two years, the Hawaii's are Hawaii not a, yeah, has not cracked a, down on their sports books because there used to be an illegal book or a, a house on every corner in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Now, how many Hawaiians do you have in your book? Not fucking many. Not many. APP to all the Hawaiian and brada brothers out there. Shout out to CBO. I don't know where the fuck you've gone. Mm. I don't know where Took that. the money and ran, CBO. Another, another satisfied client? Another, another Hawaiian took the money and ran, CBO. Yeah, hey, hey happy, Kainoa, Kainoa, where are you at, brother? Happy to make your holidays uh, a much better financially play, uh, financial place. I'll actually be in Hawaii, Maui to be exact, uh, on February 3rd, my mm. birthday, through the 10th. Just giving you a fair warning there. Birthday in Maui. If you want to see Steve Stevens, he'll be in Maui, February yeah. 3rd. All my stalkers out there, it's only $800 ticket to Maui. Come kick it with me. He's a book, He's having a book signing out Four there. Four seasons, my friend. A book signing for his birthday out there Master in Maui. Master Closer 101 coming to you soon. Yeah, he'll be sitting on the beach uh, signing books for all you stalkers. Actually, I'm not signing. What I'm doing is I have this little uh, uh, imprint of ink, right? It's mm -hmm. like, uh, you know how you roll the thing you stamp on? it. Well, it's kind of like a stamp, but it's a little bit more wet. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing is I'm dropping my nuts on it, and then I'm imprinting <laughs> it on the paperwork as my signature. There you go. You're going to get so, it. If you head out to Maui, February 3rd for Steve gonna, Stevens' get birthday. You're going to imprint my nuts you'll, right on your paperwork. You'll get an imprint of his nuts right on your right on your paper. And you act right. I might buy you a drink in a hotel room or something. There you, know you go. I mean? Anyway, maybe, the maybe smoke one of those Hawaiian Kush joints. Man, last time I was in Hawaii, they had the blue cheese, just average wheat. Blue cheese. Yep. When you fly to wow. Hawaii, guys... I'm not telling you what to do, what to do, but this is just what a friend told me. You put a half ounce of weed in a fucking bag. Mm. You put it in the back pocket of your fucking jeans. You put your jeans in your bag, and you pack it, and you send it through the airplane. It's real fucking simple. Wow. Last thing you'd want to do is show up in Hawaii with no marijuana. There's plenty of weed over there. There's plenty of weed, but they think that people like us are police. Mm. The locals down there do not play, dude. You must not know Hawaii, bro. Well, you're, you're I, I, know I, I know I like blue cheese on my salad. So then you'd love the blue cheese marijuana, brother, brother. There's a good chance I would. Hawaii Bowl, Louisiana Tech versus Hawaii. Hawaii's minus one with a 61 total. Scores gone under in 80% of the games where Louisiana Tech are road underdogs. Hold on, time out. When Louisiana Tech is a road underdog, in other words, they're not playing on their own field, guys. Doesn't matter if it's a neutral site. If they're playing away from their home field, Louisiana Tech is 80% to the under when they're on the road away from their field and they're an underdog in the game. 80% to the under. So when Steve and Skip drink Private Reserve, there you go. Harvest Forest, and I fart three times, take Dallas Cowboys money line. Absolutely. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> if we're drinking Crown and he's farting three times in a row, Take Get the, the Redskins. Take, huh? take the Cowboys and the Redskins in a parlay. Oh, fuck. I love it. Anyway, guys, one thing about us is our job is to teach you how to be better sports bettors. It's a trillion-dollar industry. Remember, you guys out there that have money in the stock market, you guys that have money in the bank, if you just have an extra $10,000 in stocks, cash it the fuck out. Call me. I'll show you how to turn $10,000 into $50,000 mm -hmm. in 30 days or less. 
our money management and discipline program, the formula for success is well over and beyond anything you can do in the market, Skip. I couldn't agree with you more. There's way too much shit here. It's the end of December. You guys have got back your numbers. What did your stockbroker really fucking do for you this year? That little 300000 that he made you eighteen grand or thirty grand or oh my god you had a big year he made you forty grand I'll turn that three hundred thousand into a million dollars in one calendar year and that you could take to the fucking bank you want to turn five thousand into twenty you want to turn a thousand into five eight seven seven two two oh sixty five forty period you want to win some fucking bowl games I could go over previews all fucking day mm -hmm. we could go over matchups all fucking day but, but what's the sense of it but we won't. If the people want to make fucking money, they'll call and take advantage of my Christmas promotion. I could agree with Because I'm you. in a holiday mode, and they fucking deserve it. Bottom fucking line. Let's go over the Birmingham Bowl, uh, which is Memphis against Wake. I can't Wake. go over every one of these bowls. We're not, how about this? We'll be here forever. How about, how about this? Eat a bowl of dick. How about that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what here. Guys, Let's yeah. do a little NFL preview. We'll do a little NFL preview. And That's we'll brought to you by mybookie.ag. Right. We you know, all know that watching sports is fun but it's a hell of a lot more entertaining when you have action on the games. You heard me talking about mybookie.ag for weeks now, and it's how it's one of the best fucking books out there and how happy you'll be with the whole year long. Get your action in on this weekend's marquee matchups in pro and college basketball. Celebrate the start of college basketball and cash in on NBA and NHL. Regular season with MyBookie.ag. Created by online gaming pioneers in 2012, MyBookie vows to improve the sports betting experience, Skipper, where so many other brands have failed, my friend. Year in and year out, MyBookie.ag has delivered on its promise of excellent customer service and fast and easy payouts. Plain and fucking simple. MyBookie is the place to put yourself in action. And back with popular demand, MyBookie.ag is offering a 50% bonus wow. on all new accounts to jumpstart your bankroll. Log on to mybookie.ag today and use the promotional code Las Vegas, all one word, to collect on the industry's biggest bonus incentive. Make sure to follow uh, Bet My Bookie on Twitter and Instagram to get the latest odds and props as they are posted. Whether you're an expert or a rookie, you should be betting mybookie.ag and remember, who you're betting on is just as important as who you're betting with, Skipper. Isn't that the truth? We got a preview of an NFL game or two. The Houston Texans are heading into uh, the link over there in Philly. The Eagles minus two and a half in this game against Houston at home in Philly. Totals right around 46. My man Nick Foles and the Eagles, they stayed alive in the playoff hunt. Um, I don't think they're going to make Skip, it. Skip, the bottom line is if Philly did, uh, fuck all your stats. Your, your team has been shit all year. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You, you were a man of your word. You're, you said your team was going to be shit. Well, they've been injured all you year, got too. Rid of your, no, you got rid of your offensive coordinator. You that's made it the, very fucking clear. That's the problem. And he fucked you guys very good. And I just want to give another shout-out to Philly winning the Super Bowl and backing it up with one of the worst fucking season I've ever seen. You guys are fucking gone. Well, I want to wish Frank Reich a Merry Christmas, the former offensive coordinator for the Eagles. He helped us get a Super Bowl title. And, uh, and laugh like a bitch. Well, hey, listen, that's the business, man. He's sure got, is. He, he left Lead for the money. Leave by the iron's hot, baby. Strike hey, when it's hot. You got to be a whore for the money, buddy. Got you motherfucking right. You got to be a pimp to the cash. You got to be. It's yeah. all about, hey, listen. He took off. He got the money. He left. He got his coaching position out there uh, with the Colts. Shout out to Frank Reich. Merry Christmas. Thank you for the Super Bowl last year. And we've been dog shit without you. Yeah, your team sucks. Not uh, to mention we've been injured like uh, no other team in the I, league. Yeah, you're, you're injured. Who do you think's more injured? Uh, Charlie Sheen's Coke dealer because he's not serving him anymore with the HIV? Mm. Or the way Philly's played this year? Who do you think's hurt more? Philly. I don't know, man. That dope dealer was getting a lot of money from Charlie. The Houston Texans are 5-0 and straight up and 3-1-1 against the spread in their last five road games. Meanwhile, the Eagles are only 3-3 three three straight up their last six. 1-5 against the spread. 1-5 against the spread at the link this year On at paper, home. Houston all day. If it was Houston at home, the spread would be minus four. Uh, Philly sucks. I don't trust them. Uh, am I telling you to go pound Houston? No. Houston looks good on paper. However, I would not bet that money or that game with your money. Bottom Shout fucker. out to Nick Foles, Super Bowl MVP. 
going across the country into L.A., into the Coliseum, and whooping a Rams' ass once again, just like he did last year when he came in when Wentz got hurt. I will give you Nick a Nick Foles, one of these days you're going to get some credit. You've always gotten it from me, partner. Merry uh, Christmas, Nick Foles. I will give you a trend on that game. The total has gone over in three of the last four Eagles-Houston games. Well, there you have it. All right, let's go to Saturday. Ravens versus the Chargers. Chargers have came back, charged the fuck up, blew people's mind this year. Uh, uh, accomplished they didn't blow things. They, what? They didn't blow mine. Well, they've accomplished things people thought they wouldn't. Well, you see, you had them leading the division. Well, I didn't just have them leading the division. It was my opening day prediction. Chargers win the AFC. I don't. Okay, great. Now, I, listen, st- I stand by it. Against the spread, this is a very scary game. Ravens could fuck your mm. world over. Mm. You got Ravens at Chargers, four and a half with a 44 and a half spread. Yep. Chargers ran their winning streak to four in a row with a thrilling 29-28 victory at Kansas City last week. Go right? for two. Yes, they did. Kansas bounced back from that tough loss at Kansas City two weeks ago, but beat Tampa Bay in the rain last week, 20 to, that's Baltimore that bounced back. They beat them last week, 20 to 12. Congratulations. Oh, well, does it mean anything? Fuck no. Skip, does anything mean anything this year up until this point? Yeah. It does? Yeah. Wouldn't it matter how solid your team is? Doesn't right make now, a difference what's going to happen this weekend, though. Well, that's what I mean. So what, what You want to find out what's going to happen this weekend directly from Steve Stevens? $99, $100 bill. The you only know. opportunity you'll ever bill. have $100 to $100 play, f- and it's the Christmas holiday. Who the fuck wouldn't pay a $100 bill to have Michael Jordan work with him from now till Christmas? I'm the Michael Jordan of the business, guys. The LeBron James of the fucking business. Mm-hmm. Let me do my job. Let me break these fucking books for you. Anyway, um, Raven Chargers, who do you like, Skip? I- I'm a Charger fan. Uh, you know, I'm speaking from my heart. You have to be because the Baltimore, Chargers, you Baltimore, have to be. Baltimore's defense scares me a little bit. However, the Chargers are 2-6 and six against the spread. Yeah, in eight games when hosting an East Coast team, my friend. Yeah, but that don't well, mean. Well, they're, host, yeah, that they're doesn't hosting mean, an East Coast team. That don't mean, Dick. Not really. The total has gone over in five of the Ravens' last six games against the Chargers. Who gives a fuck? Uh, bottom line is the Chargers are hot. It's Phillip Rivers' season, and I stand by my opening day prediction. The Chargers win the AFC. Remember where you heard it. Fuck the Patriots and uh, fuck the Kansas City Chiefs and Andy Reid. Andy Reid's the biggest fucking choker in the league. Uh, shout out to the Walrus, Andy Reid. Uh, fuck you, Brady. Fuck you, Bilicek. It's Phillip Rivers season. Skip, How do you like that? I, I say you have your opinion, and it's not fuck for Patriots. Patriots make it farther than the Chargers, no. for sure. And because you pumped the game up so much, Let's make that even major. though I wouldn't Let's play this game right with now. any money, I got Ravens covering against the spread just because Skip said all Let's that make shit. That Maybe bet. winning outright. Let's make that wager. What? That Patriots make it further than the I Chargers? Got, I got 2,500 the Chargers go further than the Patriots in the, that motherfucker. In the AFC no, this period, year. No, just period. 25, just well, period. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Bet. 2,500 the Chargers make it further than the Patriots this year. Bet. You got it. Bet. There's another bet. Listen, I win these bets, guys. No, but there's if no more. If you follow no, the no, podcast, no. I'm 90%. There's no I, more you holding the money, though. I'm 90%. Veronica, no, no, no. The 2,500 gets put up, and, and that's how it works. I'm not worried about that. Okay. I'll put it up three, four, five times, whatever you want to do. Here's the deal. I'm 90% on these podcasts if you've been following these podcasts. I'll put my 2,500 up whatever, all. Whatever. I'll put my 2,500 I, I, I don't up think, all fucking day. I don't think I have 2,500 on this. It doesn't matter. I got mine. Sure. Yeah, I say I, Patriots make it for I'm running a little late today. I was at Dottie's last night. Oh, shout out to <laughs> Dottie, that pretty ass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got, you don't got to pull I only got 11 I got right you. here. I okay. got you. You trust me? Yeah. All right. All right. So, I got the Chargers going further than the Patriots, 2,500. And I got Patriots making it further. I got your back, Brady, and your good-looking lady. Nice. Let's run a train on her. And I'll have your 2,500 when down. it's all said and done. Fair, just have my money, dude. Fair enough. Dude, 2019 is my year Fair for our podcast bets. Because you right. murdered me in 2018. Right. Absolutely. And I'm not finished. Uh, you know, NBA, here's what I'm Where thinking. there is thunder, there will be lightning. You ain't lying. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it's Christmas time. We want to make sure that you make Fuck as much money NBA. as you possibly fucking can. You're racking up the bills. You got your girl that fucking Rolex. Uh, you got her that fucking Tiffany Diamond. You got her this. You got her that. You got your kids shit that you weren't supposed to. You went in debt. I have the fucking solution on how to pay these debts. Skip, I want you to go ahead and tell these people whatever you want to do for Christmas. Give your shout-outs. I'll end the show. Let's get the fuck out of here. Shout-out to all my homies back in Philly. Shout-out to June. Shout-out to Schooley. Shout-out to Schleppy. Shout-out to all my people back there. Shout-out to my brother. Uh, both my brothers back on the East Coast. want to wish my mother Merry Christmas, even though she don't watch the podcast. Uh, Shout-out to Right Side. 
Shout out to uh, Mrs. Skipper. And uh, most of all, shout out to Paparazzi and Mrs. Paparazzi, the producers of the show. Shout out to Veronica, all my salesmen. Shout the fuck out to all the fans and the clients. And most of all, shout out to Steve Stevens' his kids and his beautiful wife, Kelly. Merry Christmas. It's been another great year, 2018. Let's go get that fucking money. I love it. And I couldn't end it anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, 2018 has been a fantastic year for VIP sports. We're on top of the mountain looking down. Nobody does what we do. No one's in competition with us. We're in competition with ourselves. I will make you more money betting sports than you possibly could ever fucking imagine. It's the Christmas holiday, and I want you guys out there to drink and be safe and be merry. Don't drink and drive. Like I said, you don't want to hurt anybody. Uber. Shout out to Kelly out there. Shout out to my brother. Shout out to my dad. I miss you, brother. You've been gone for a long time. I'll see you when I, when I see you. Uh, shout out to my mom, everybody at my VIP crew, to all my workers that have been grinding from day one, to all the fans of the show, to everybody that supports us. Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. And like I said, during the holiday season, make sure you give to somebody. Make sure you stay safe. Make sure you have a good time. But make sure of one thing. Don't let the players be the only ones to get paid. Take advantage of that fucking promotion. Let's go get this fucking money. Let's go get drunk as fuck. Let's go enjoy our family and make Christmas the most profitable fucking week you've ever fucking had. Why? Because you deserve it. Bottom of my heart, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We love you guys and have a great fucking day. Fair enough? Fair enough. Merry Christmas, guys. Ho, ho, ho. It's Steve Stevens. I bust your bookie head open. Split it to the white meat. I ain't joking. Me a dirt bomb in the ghost float. Straight OG like that kush I be smoking. It's way too potent for rookies to come hit it. A little white girl around, I might sniff it. Popping bub in the club, so twisted. My pops keeps telling me to go get it. So I'm at the sports book, betting big on the Clippers. I'm talking about five figures. I need a few shots of liquor. Might need another zipper if the bomb play me. Fuck around and put a half a meal on Tom Brady. When it comes to betting sports, Steve Steve is a beast. Need a certified winner called VIP Sports. Got too many felonies to ride around with my Glock. So sure to keep it since I got shot in Vegas like Pop. I keep hearing that